Hello everyone, it's Jason Gray here with the fourth vlog of this channel. Uh, update, so we are getting ready to go to the company convention. It's a biannual convention. Most of the reps attend it and it's basically a three to four day boot camp of continuing to learn, like continuing education, how to's. There's of course motivation and recognition and uh, we're excited. This is the third one that uh, we'll be attending. We set a goal last time as regional leaders that we will not be coming back uh, at the same uh, level of leadership as we were attending. And uh, we kept true to our promise. A couple months ago, we promoted to regional vice president. So we'll be going back there and we'll be attending the first RVP meeting the Builders Bash and uh, just really soaking it up so that we can come back and educate our clients and our representatives all the stuff they need to know. Uh, why big events? Look, uh, if you're not continuing to learn, if you're not going outside of yourself for motivation, you're probably gonna stay put or even worse, go backwards. Uh, even the most motivated individuals usually need a mentor or someone outside of them to inspire them to do more look you can be amazing at working out but if you go work out with an instructor or even a friend who's pushing you one more rep uh, your workout's gonna be better it's gonna be more effective and when something about flying or going a distance to learn helps you stay more focused and more excited about it and I think you receive the the content and everything uh, in a better way. You know, big decisions are made at big events, and if you're traveling with friends or a team, uh, what better way to to bond and really get to know each other? And look, in life, if you are just leveraging your time and your talents, uh, you're gonna have limited reach. But when you leverage the time and talents of other people with you for the same cause, the same mission, the business, uh, that's just gonna multiply and grow exponentially. Look, Elon Musk, um, the late, uh, I'm drawing a blank here at Apple, Steve Jobs, sorry, yes. Look, these guys had great ideas, they have great ideas, and the ideas are being executed, but it's not just by them, it's by teams and teams and teams of people, and look at the impact they've had and are gonna have on this world. And that's the same thing for you. If you're great at something, you gotta find a way to leverage other people's time and talents and maybe money to really have maximum impact. And big events kind of teach us how to do that and remind us of that. In the last month or two, our business has been growing, but at a slower pace than I'd like. I think a good tip for you guys and something that we're keeping at the forefront here is be growing month to month. Are you always gonna do it? Maybe not, but if that's your focus, whatever let's say you had 10 clients last month or whatever it is that makes sense in your business or you sold three homes how can you beat it by at least one how can you sell four homes this month easier said than done right but I think to keep growing you really have to leverage the time and talents of other people whether it's mark marketing lead gen people actually selling the homes with you or for you right uh, so how do you beat last month's results this month and then next month, how do you beat this month's? And you keep that focus going. Even if you miss, you're gonna be putting in place momentum and, and things to make the following month or the following months even better. So have a growth mindset. If you're not growing, you're dying. I think that's the biggest focus right now for us. And that's a big takeaway for, for you all. And uh, have a big goal. Like our goal is SVP by next convention. So by next two years, 300 grand a year in income and uh, three or more people that we've helped develop their own office and become brokers, all right? And we've got a couple people in mind, but we are looking for a few people here at the moment locally uh, in the Portland area, Beaverton, Tiger, Tualatin, Sherwood, etc. somewhere within 30 miles of Portland that might wanna make a career change or do something on the side because uh, we're looking to develop those, those brokerages. But that's our big term goal. If that's all we think about, probably not gonna happen because the mind says, well, that's big, that's gonna take a lot of work, and eh, who knows, there's probably a shutdown. But if you say, okay, that's a two-year goal, let's break it down to a one-year goal, a 12-month goal, a one-month goal, a one-week goal, a daily goal, a daily goal, you can do a daily goal, can't you? So have big goals, yes, have a dream board, yes, 
and keep thinking about those and looking at those, but also break them down into daily activity and daily or weekly goals that you know are achievable. Uh, it's the reduction of the ridiculous. I think that's what it's called, right? Take something big, make it really tiny, makes it ridiculous. You can do that. We can do that. We're focused on that. Uh, we'll give you guys an update here after convention. I know we're going to be pumped up, inspired, and, and have our axe, our sword sharpened even further. Uh, if you're part of our company, you got to be there. Look, we we went to the last two conventions struggling, broke, using a, a credit card. Why? Because it's an investment. The best investment you'll have is in yourself. Look, people invest 40 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand into a business. They ingress 40, 50, 60, 100 grand into education for four years called a degree or college with no guarantees. Guarantee is they get a piece of paper, they know they're gonna be a little bit better for it, they hopefully know a few other people, and then they say, I'm gonna take that investment and I'm gonna be something more, I'm gonna get more out of it, it's gonna be a bigger return on the investment. So a convention is just that. In fact, I would argue, because I have some degrees, I would argue it's even better than that, right? So if you see this, you're on the fence, find a way, you know, leaders and winners find a way to make it happen. Uh, so get there and you'll be thanking me that you were there. It's like going to the gym, might be hard to get there, but once you leave, you're so glad you went. So that's our focus, guys. By the way, if you're in business for yourself, it's a write-off, right? All right, we will see you guys in the next one. Until then, join us in the pursuit of greatness.